What is up guys, gals, and all you awesome gamers out there, it is I, Josh, for Only SP, and as you can see here, we are about to jump into Dark Souls 3. <laughs> I had to make it sound a little bit sinister, because obviously it is a, a dark game, because of the title. But, I am actually a major fan of the series. Now, I actually platinumed Demon Souls way, way, way back in the day. Dark Souls, I thought, was an okay game. Dark Souls 2, loved it to death. And then, finally, Bloodborne is easily, easily my favourite title out of the entire portfolio of the Souls series. And so I'm quite excited to jump into Dark Souls 3 and see the... the combination, supposedly, of Bloodborne and Dark Souls into this potentially final title as well, because this is supposed to be the, the final entry in the Dark Souls series for quite a while, and then they may be going in for a break, maybe taking on another Bloodborne kind of game, I'm not too sure. But, for now, let's jump into this and see what it's all about. But, comment section below, let us know what do you think to the Dark Souls series? I would love, love, love to know. What is your favourite one? Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne. We would love to know all of your opinionage, but for now, let's jump into Dark Souls 3. Yes. Indeed. I'm glad you agree with me. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive Lord of the Profaned Capital. Yon the Giant. to call. <laughs> so what did everyone think to that intro? Kind of interesting, right? Because there's always been this thing with Dark Souls, Demon Souls, where you never really fully understood what the story was about. Like, in Demon Souls, you kind of played as a warrior who was traveling to try and defeat, like, the, the king of that kind of, like, castle, and then died, and then had to try and, like, get through this whole idea of being a undead zombie knight, <laughs> or mage, or whatever you played as, and overcoming that. And so now it's this thing where you seem to always be playing 
as a dead dude. And then you're always kind of rising up to the challenge of taking down all these large bosses and then becoming them. Well, that's what I understood at least from Bloodborne, because in Bloodborne, one of the endings was that you became the body, you know, the, the body of the god and all that kind of stuff. Major spoiler, I apologize. But anyway, we're going to jump into this and see what it's all about. So the first things first, we need to make ourselves a name. Let's call ourselves only SP because we are only SP. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm gonna play as the knight character. Now, I'm just gonna jump into this like instantly because, to be honest, I don't think I really need to show you the customization. You know what it's all about. You get a pretty ugly person that you can customize. Though they have actually updated the facial models at least a little bit because you may remember that the original ones were very, very fugly. But we're gonna play as a knight because I like melee combat, I like to defend myself with a shield, and then we're gonna go pwn some faces. Let's see what happens. Now, again, there is this little bit of a combination between Bloodborne and, da and Dark Souls now, which is great. So one thing we're going to see is very fast movement combined with that kind of melee and kind of like defensive combat too. The visuals have also been megally updated, at least the engine has. So yeah, look, we're playing as a dead dude again. Though that is a very cool way to enter the party. I like I've got a little bit of like a rag on my back. It's like a mini Batman. <laughs> okay, let's get used to my surroundings, my movement, my combat, my awesomeness. So, I am playing this on the Windows controller because I do prefer pads to keyboard and mouse. Okay, I see, I see. So left and right bumper is your defense and then your sword. I can do that and then I assume trigger it as your heavy attack. Yep, I think we're all ready for this. I have never played this before, so it's gonna be one of these things where I am going in completely blind. Though, as mentioned, I did platinum demon souls and I am working slowly towards my Bloodborne platinum. So hopefully I'll be able to take on any challenges that come my way. Like this dude here, who just tasted my justice immediately. Which is fantastic, don't you think? Since there's no screen tearing too, which is another great, great thing to see. Because Demon Souls and Dark well not Demon Souls really, Demon Souls was quite well performing on the PlayStation 3. But Dark Souls at least had very, very poor performance on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, especially on PC as well. So it's great to see them kind of focus on the PC version and give it a little love, you know, make it smooth, make it look very welcoming if you are actually kind of injecting your bank account into the PC version. But we got a dude here. Well, we, we had a dude here, and then he kind of died. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving. So we could go that way, but I'm kind of curious. Watch out! Okay, there you go. Look, my fast, awesome spider sense is there. Saving my life, making sure everybody's dead. I'm curious to see what is this way, because that is the right direction. I don't like going the right direction. I like going off the beaten path. And so hopefully we'll find something awesome. Maybe some treasure, maybe some new armor. I mean, I am quite liking this though. Especially the little the little scarf that I've got. You didn't get that in the other games. So now I look a little bit more badass from the get-go, which is awesome. Okay, let's see what we've got around to. Ooh, a mystical tree. And a giant white dude. Is this the boss? This can't be the boss already. Wait, before we jump into that, can we actually do anything else? Is there any like items that might help? No. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Just so you all know, viewers, if I die, tell my loved ones, nothing. <laughs> I've kind of like, I've spoken to them already before actually playing this game. Oh no. Yep. We're fine, we're good. How do I dodge? That's one thing I don't know. B button, B button is the dodge. I probably should like, learn how to do that <laughs> before I went into the fight. Okay, here we go. Look, he's tasting my justice. Whoa! Cheeky little nugget. Oh, no. Ooh, so he's kind of like an ice lizard or something. And he can also shoot ice at you from its... Wow, that is some very awesome peppermint to draft with. Nah! I can do this. Let's also lock on to him. Oh, what's he gonna do? Whoa! Okay. <laughs> you nearly got me there, I have to admit. What's he gonna do next? Right, he's gonna try and bite my face off. This guy needs to slow down a little bit. To tire out your food. Whoa. Right, okay. Should probably use my shield a little bit more. Uh oh! Oh no, okay, I think it's time to use one of those health flats quickly. Whoa! That was close. Jeez, this guy is very snappy. I love his ice beard though, that's really cool. Yep. Let's lock onto him again. Oh, we got him! 
Can I get another hit in? Yes! <laughs> Whoa! That is like the most immense pimp slap ever. This guy might actually work the streets. Whoa! What an awesome dodge! Be careful! Jeez. <laughs> oh, look at another player just died right there! It's so cool that you can kind of see the phantoms of other players in the world. I mean, you got to experience one die. <laughs> That's fantastic! Way! No tongue. First date. Whoa! Right, we got him, we got him. Go for those legs. Oop. He's gonna go for the body slam. Remember, the body slam does that surrounding ice. Take it slow. Don't need to rush it. Oh, we got him! We got him! We went some Titanite scale too. So there we go, everybody. The first boss potentially. Do you think that was the first boss? That didn't feel very bossy to me. No, I think I think there's gonna be a much deadlier, deadlier challenge on the corner. Because generally there's like epic music, there's like immense tension. Well then again, I was partially crapping my pants, <laughs> but there was there's generally like that kind of spark. So I'm thinking, possibly, potentially, there might be something else around the corner. Maybe in the other direction, do you think? Let's even get there as fast as possible, because I'm very, very curious. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take down the first boss, hopefully, and then we're going to end it right there. Because we don't want to spoil anything, we don't really want to spoil the story, we just want to show you some gameplay, show you a boss, and the wonders, the delights, the, the doom that you're going to experience. Oh wow. Now that is what I call the visitor. If you look really, really closely, next to that mountain, I'm not going to tell you which one, you can see my house. <laughs> right, let's work our way up here. I'm working on those calves. And climb that hill with ease. Oh, we've got our first bonfire here, which allows us to teleport to different locations if we find other locations, along with restoring my Estus flasks, which are on the bottom right. See so if I just take a little bit of a nap. It also, you may notice, does this crazy mist. Now, the mist actually restarts the entire game world, so any enemies that I've killed respawn, which is not very good. So you need to make sure that you plan ahead, and if you need those health flasks, get them, you know, replenished, or don't risk it, because you're gonna have to fight everything over and over and over again, and you don't want to die and lose all your health to one of these random little dudes. Oh wait, they're actually getting a little bit more health now. That's not good. Uh-oh, okay, I've woken one of them up. Slow down, fellas. Now, not only am I moving faster, but the enemies are moving faster too. So, there is that kind of thing where you're sharing the... Ooh, oh, hello there. Kind of like interrupts me there a little bit. I'll let you come to me. You're kind of like sharing the, the fast-paced combat of not only you, but the enemies as well. So they're kind of getting your kind of like speedy abilities as well. Because you didn't really get that with the standard enemies in Bloodborne. They were kind of like clunky and slow in a way, but the bosses were super fast. But now everything in Dark Souls is immensely speedy, supposedly. And I'm kind of scared about that because one thing that you heavily relied on was your agility in Bloodborne. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is definitely a boss fight. You can tell by the fact that there's like a potential doorway here. Because when there's ever like a boss fight, you have like this white misty stuff which you go through if you die. I, I wouldn't know because I, I, I kill everything like instantly, believe me. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got here. Yeah, this is definitely a boss fight. Yeah, we're, we're, we're probably really screwed. Is there actually any items around here? Usually you'll have like like one or two nice little hidden items. Hopefully that, that dude who kicks you off the ledge isn't hanging around here. I do not want to stand next to any edge, like, cliff faces because I don't want to be punned by him. Okay. Hello. He actually has a bonfire sword in him. I wonder what the, the story behind that is. Seems like people have died here. I'm a little bit worried. Now remember, when you're fighting the bosses, don't rush in and kill them, like, or try and kill them, should I say, because you generally will never kill them in the first try. You need to make sure that you adapt to the situation, so while we're fighting this dude, we're gonna kind of, like, observe, I guess, as we were doing with that lizard before, seeing what abilities he had, seeing what attacks he could pull off, and then we could defeat him. As you saw, we overcome the challenge. So let's see if we can do it with this guy as well. Oh, that's gonna be one giant hole on your nipple. Why is there blood, like, purple? Is that, like, black current or something? Okay, it seems you can hurt him! That's good! While he's actually- WAIT A MINUTE! <laughs> that is the biggest ass stick I have ever seen. Wow, that dude is weaponizing some man boobs right there. Okay, let's just, like, back up and see what he does. So he has a... Like a horizontal strike! Whoa! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, that is what I call an opening. Way. Okay, slow down, that went right past my ear. So he seems to do some kind of lunging strike. Now that is gonna be very useful. So if he jumps at us again, like that, and then go right for his butthole. Whoa, that was good. 
That was not good. He's getting very annoyed with me. So he figured out one of his weak, like, kind of attacks. He leaves himself open with the lunging strike. Let's see if he does it again. Wow, you're nothing. Go, is that it? Is that it, really? Hold on a second. Don't rush it. What the fuck? Dude, stop masturbating. Oh, God, it's things like a giant rat just came out of his head. Whoa. Oh, shizzle. Okay, we're going to do our best here. Let's just roll back a little bit. <laughs> Let's just take in his beauty. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Whoa. Okay, back up a little bit. Get some health. <laughs> We've nearly got him, though. Oh, oh, no. He's going to bite me. Oh, I've got nothing left. I've got no stamina. Okay, recharge. Right. That really hurt. Oh, that's cheating. Oh, he's going to go for it again. He's going to go for it again. Oh, no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> so close, though. So very, very close. Wow, he was a bit of a butthole. Though we did we did get his health down really, really low. So what's he seen there from the very first, like, move kind of phase? As you can see, he has two different phases that pretty much all the bosses in these games have. Where he kind of did, like, just, like, standard attacks and stuff. So we want to kind of, like, take advantage of his lunging strike. And then we need to try and figure out how to kill the giant rat face afterwards. All right, here we go again. All right, he's ready for me. Though where are my, where are my souls? I want my souls back. Give me my souls, thank you very much. Right, here we go. So, remember, lunging strike. That is our opening to pwn his face. Come on, give us that lunging strike. We want to see that lunging strike. Might want to use my shield. One thing that I'm still very, very used to because I still play a lot at the moment is just dodging. Whoa, okay, no bear hugs for you. It's just standardly dodging. I need to use my shield a lot more as well. So let's see if we can like work that into this too. Right, wait for that lunging strike. Come on, give us a lunging strike. We want to see the lunging strike. I am not making a move until you do your lunging strike. There we go. That's what I want to see. Right in the kidneys. Oh! That was like the most steelized capital I've ever seen. Is that a lunging strike? Very, very quickly. We have not seen that before. Okay, here he goes again. Oh, that was good. That was nice. Remember, don't be greedy. Do not be greedy with bosses. Just take your time. Just take your time. Okay, we got you, buddy. We got you. Yeah, you think you're so confident now, don't you? Whoa! Okay, yes, he is very confident. Though, then again, that staff is giant. Is that a staff or is that halberd? Not too sure. I want to see a lunging strike from you. Come on. Give me my lunging strike. I can dance. I can dance. Whoa! Okay, okay. Settle down, settle down. Ooh, didn't even flinch. No, nope, I'm rocky. Wow. <laughs> very cool design for a boss, though. Oh, I'm sure that staff just extended... Where's my lunge? You want to lunge at me? You can see in his eyes. Look, look at those eyes. They're beautiful, but you can see you can see the lunge just coming out of them. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, this is why you don't do it! <laughs> it's way too risky. It's way too risky to just try and go in there and attack them without getting that opening. Oh, no. Now? Whoa! Right. Okay, here we go. I've got an itch on my head. Just as he bites me, I get an itch on my head. Remember, we need to use that shield. This is not Bloodborne. There we go. Aha! Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Wow. Okay, this guy is huge. Watch out! Oh! Okay, I haven't got my shield out anymore. There, there we go. There we go. We're better. We're better. Wait, wait for it. Back it up like a Tonka truck. Boop, boop. <laughs> right. Come on. What have you got? Oh, wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, that was close. Whoa. Okay. Settle down a second. Now, we have got him below half health, which is good. Oh, okay, there's a two attack. Right. Okay. Oh, no, he's going to bite me. No! Oh, shizzle! He just tripped over himself. Okay, that's fine. I can walk with that. Maybe just two slaps. We got it, we got it. Right, two slaps, two slaps. I wonder if we could dodge one of those. Oh, that was just cheeky. 
Ah! Someone left himself up. Wait for it. And then look, you've got yourself down to the exact same point now. Oh, he's left me open. Maybe if you run out of stamina, he does actually stutter you. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Back up, back up. We're not ready yet. Okay, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. What's he gonna do? Just, just stab him, just stab him. <laughs> he was getting a little bit lazy there. But we defeated him. That is the first boss completed. The air of fire destroyed. And we also got a coiled sword. And, oh wow. Oh, this is new. Oh, that is cool. So you know how, like, in Demon Souls, when you defeated the boss, you'd actually regain your humanity. You would not be a skeleton anymore. This seems to be the effect you get this time. So you stay undead, maybe? But you get some kind of, like, cinder around you. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's get our Estus boss away. Okay, so as promised, we aren't going to spoil much more, so we're going to move onwards to the doorway and maybe see the hub world. I think the hub world is behind here. Generally, you'd kill a boss and then you get the hub world, right? Or when you die, they'd give you the hub world. It's kind of weird that they haven't given you the hub world from dying. It kind of reminds me a little bit of... Is it Dark Souls 1 that did that with the giant dragon? Because you could kill that without dying, right? Something like that. Ooh, got a broken straight sword. That's going to be useful. Not... Aha, uh -huh. what have we got here? So this, this could be the hub area, right? Got some enemies there, but I'm not really caring about them. I'm loving that fire effect on my body armor. That is really cool. Ooh, what could this be about? Look at that view. That is really cool. I want to go back down. I want to go into that castle. Can we go into that castle? I really want to go into that castle. Take a selfie. Put it on Facebook. Tag some friends. Love it. The Firelink Shrine. Here we go. So. What is around here? You've got one random dude on the front. I assume these are the kind of like the bosses that you have to kill and you put them on the thrones. So that's kind of cool that maybe we'll get some lore out of the characters. Kind of like in a way that you kill the boss, then they maybe get like humanized. And then you get to talk to them. That might be kind of awesome. There's actually a random dude here. You always get that one random guy that sits in the in the hub world and he kind of like has a progressive story, like as the game like moves on. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Interesting. Don't you think? <laughs> and he's also partially insane. So, what's going to happen to this guy later on in the story? Do you think he's some dude that can actually help us in a fight later on? Because remember, you can actually get NPCs in the game to help you fight bosses as well. So, very curious. Maybe you'll be like a bad guy because sometimes you could find NPCs that could betray you too and kill other characters. So, maybe that dude sat on the throne up there. You're looking very important. She looks like that lady with the, the weird vortex mask from the intro cutscene. Hi there. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Okay, excellent. So the Firekeeper is the one that actually levels you up. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. That sounds really dirty. Maybe she has two careers. I'm not too sure. But, I mean, one thing to remember too is that when it comes to leveling up in Dark Souls or Demon Souls or Bloodborne, is that... You start off kind of like working towards a certain build, but then you kind of become the ultimate build where everything kind of has like a max kind of like soft level to it. So say like if you focus everything to about level 30, you could just play as a mage, a warrior, a thief on the fly, which is very cool because it means that you can actually like mix and match classes in a way. And Dark Souls, Demon Souls and Bloodborne have always been very good at that, which I think is awesome. So hopefully we'll have that option as well. One thing that I've been... Uh, 
told of is that you can actually dual wield in this game now. Something that you could l kind of do in the other games, but now it's actually kind of like a fighting style, and actually has its own benefits and attacks and special moves and stuff like that, which is very, very badass. But, everyone, comment section below, let us know, what did you think to Dark Souls 3 in our little preview? We would love to know all of your opinions. Are you playing it right now? Have you completed it already? Some people are incredible bouncers, unable to do things of many, many feats. But I would love to know your opinion. Is this the game that you've been looking forward to all year? There's many and many a fan of the Soul series, so we would love to know everything. You're gonna play on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, anything. Just let us know. We, we want to know all of your mind mind awesomeness. So it's been me, Josh, playing some Dark Souls free on PC for you on only SP.